Thank you, Mr. President, for the profound action you are taking today to permanently protect the homelands of our ancestors. We are here today on the ancestral homelands of the Anacostan and Piscataway people, bending the arc of the moral universe toward justice. Thank you, Mr. President, for the profound action you are taking today to permanently protect the homelands of our ancestors. Our songs, our languages, and our cultures are strong, and many people from many Indian tribes have sung and spoken in unison to protect this sacred place. Bears Ears is a living landscape. When I've been there, I felt the warmth and joy of ancestors who've cared for this special place since time immemorial. It's a place where you can stand in the doorway of a home where a family who lived thousands of years ago left behind a legacy of love and conservation for a place that sustained them for countless generations. Stories of existence, celebration, survival, and reverence are etched into the sandstone canyon walls. Sacred sites are dotted across the desert mesas. Cultural heritage in the form of ancient pots, arrowheads, clothing, seeds, and evidence of lives well lived are as inseparable from bears' ears as the air we breathe at this moment. National Monuments. It's about this administration centering the voices of indigenous people and affirming the shared stewardship of this landscape with tribal nations. I've come to Utah to take a very historic action to reverse federal overreach and restore the rights of this land to your citizens. Today, <clears throat> our children are three times more likely to see climate disasters uproot and unsettle their lives than their grandparents' generation. We have to come together and understand why this work is so critical. When we protect and care for a forest, we're not just preserving the majesty of nature. We're safeguarding water sources and lessening the impact of fires. We're protecting wetlands. We're not only saving birds and fish and the livelihoods that people who depend on them, we're also shoring up the natural defenses to absorb the fury of hurricanes and superstorms. Nearly one in three Americans live in a community that has been struck by weather disasters just in the last few months. Hurricanes, wildfires, droughts, heat waves. Both the Build Back Better plan and my bipartisan infrastructure agreement are going to make critical investments, significantly increasing the resilience these devastating effects on the climate crisis. 